Hey guys, so I was looking around for a state management system that's uh, kind of hook based and I found something really cool. So this is a Clojure Script inspired state management library for React. So today we're just going to do like a small example project to show you how it works. And if you're familiar with React or with Clojure Script and Reagent, it should be pretty straightforward because it works exactly how you expect. So first, I'm just gonna make a uh, what is this? I have to use yarn first. So I'm just gonna make a a small React app application. So create React app. Uh, wait, how does this work again? Um, I'll just do an example. I believe that's. Oh wait, no. For yarn, there's no hyphen here, so that should do it. And once that's ready to go, we'll just CD into it and um, start installing some stuff. So, all right, cool. So now we're just gonna CD into the example project, and the first thing I'm gonna do is. Uh, yarn uh, we're gonna install the application or not the application the package uh, which is this thing so that's so at DB whatever his name is react Adam and we're gonna use we're gonna also open it up in code. Let's uh, put it on the side. Oh, god damn it. Okay. So, um, it's actually yarn to start. And that should open up our application. And while that happens, let's open up our files. Our application is opening the normal landing page thing. So in here, um, it's actually, oh no, forgot to tmux it. All right, tmux, you want to start. There we go. All right, um, let's make a file for our state. And yes, I know you're, all right, touch. And we're just gonna call it um, state dot js. I put it in the wrong place, didn't I? Yes, I did. Ugh. All right. Touch source state dot js. We're also gonna change this to a functional component, so. And get rid of that and change that to what is this cost app equals to um bu, 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 bu. it's one too many brackets that uh, looks fine yeah all right and where's my state here it is and in here, we're gonna create the atom. So, where's it coming from? At db const state atom equals to atom dot of. And there we go. That's our global state. Uh, we're just gonna make a simple counter. So I'm um, gonna do count is zero here. And in our app.js, I'm gonna let's uh let's put it right here where the anchor tag used to be. Um and actually let's get rid of this too. So, I'm just going to make a 
a small little counter, so I'm just gonna do p. There it is. No. Nope. And let's uh dereference our use atom from our state atom. I missed TypeScript already. Oh, that's right. We didn't export this. So yeah, let's export. Come on. There we go. And we're gonna dereference the um, what's it called? Accounts from there and in here counts. Let's also put a little label here. So there's our global state of count, <coughs> which is zero, and then we can also add some uh, functions to. Um, to update the, the count. So let's see. I'm just gonna let's make an increment function. Increment. And I'm just gonna do swap. And swap should come from React Atom. And state atom. I'm just gonna state. Uh, also add parens to it. This is gonna be state dot counts plus one, and I'm just gonna add a small little button here. With an on click to call the increment function. Um, yeah, let's add some text in here. And that's all you need to do to add the increment. So there's the count. It keeps going up. Of course, we should probably make a decrement function. Decrement. Also calling swap to swap the state atom. Make sure to spread the state um, in case we update the, the atom to hold more than just the count. And then we can just do another button. Um, yank, paste, uh, back, back. Decrement, decrement, and now we could increment or decrement the count. So there's a simple counter example. There's also one last thing I want to try. Um, so let's uh, let's make a little um, data load. Things. So, for loading data, let's go to our trusty JSON placeholder and let's get some data. Um, yeah, let's do that. Uh, Comp load data. Um, well, actually, let's first just uh, do this. And a button here. Whoops. Um, undo. Bank. Paste. 
Uh, blah, 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 blah. Load data. So first we're gonna just check to see if it logs it out. So we're just gonna open the, the console here. Press load data. Our data is loaded. And now let's make sure we actually display that data. So uh, I'm gonna add more state to the state atom. And let's let's make it null at first. And let's add another paragraph tag here. Um, blah, 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 blah. We have to dereference that so that's data comes out of the state atom. Data here, and then also let's add some null checks to this. Um, so, um, let's see, it's going to come back as a JSON object, so we're going to want to do json.stringify here so it's actually something that we can see. And inside of our load data, I'm also going to change this to do swap state atom and then data is going to be the JSON data coming from the fetch Oops. so that should implement the event handling of the loading of data and if we load data we'll have the final data coming back. So our entire state atom is, actually, let's also console log the state atom. Um, so all right, let's be insert mode first. Come on, there we go. Console log. Adam state Adam and return this do, 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 do. so we just increment decrement a bunch and then load the data our Adam was gonna have huh So that is not what I expected. So what we actually wanted to do is do, 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 do. Uh, let's see, it's the deref. So it's this one, right? Dereference. Do, 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 do. Yeah. So let's instead of console logging the atom like this. Um, we're gonna console log the dereference of it. This way you can see the actual state object once we whenever we load the data. So let's go back in here. Deref is not defined, that's because it's we're not importing it. Oh, I missed TypeScript. I should have done this in TypeScript. All right. So we we'll increment and decrement a bunch of times, load the data, and then there's our stuff. Of course, um, we're console log or we're logging out the the atom before we load the data. So if we do another one, the data is actually there. And it has everything that we're expecting. So completed, ID, title, and all of that. So yeah, um, that's just a little introduction of this 
nice little library that I'm that I like a lot and I think I'm gonna start using this in the next um, project I, I use for state management and I'll see you guys next time